Hello, my name is Nora Hammer and I am so excited for today's video. I am going to be doing acrylic pouring for the first time, but I'm not just going to be doing regular pouring. We're going to be trying to achieve the coolest cells, the most different of cells, the most organic cells. I saw this super cool video on YouTube recently by Olga Sobi. I'm going to post her channel in the description below if you guys want to check her out. She did this video where she tried to achieve three different kinds of cells using three different products. I'm going to be using silicon. I'm also going to be using dishwasher soap. And lastly, we're going to be using isopropyl alcohol. This one is 99%. I think she used something like 97%, but you know, I got the strong yeah. stuff. You're going to need your acrylic colors. I already have the pre-made ones, so this video is going to go smoother and easier, so everything's consistent. I want to make sure the test is 100% fair and just, and we want to see what produces the best cells out there. I have my three canvases, the little flat ones, because I just wanted, you know, to quickly play around with them. I have my my little cups for mixing the colors and I have my big cups for you know doing the pours I also have my little gloves and I have my popsicle sticks for the stirring and the mixing I decided to go with the neon colors because you know whenever someone does acrylic pours they always use like primary colors to show like the basic effect but I decided if I really like the effect and how it looks I'm gonna want to frame it so I want something neon bright and happy so it's on my wall you know I think I'm gonna put my gloves on just in case last time I was painting everything got stained and I had to scrub my hand and that's why I have this ugly scratch here I don't know what happened there maybe a chemical burn who knows I'm gonna do all my mixing here because I don't want to get my canvases dirty obviously and I want to use four colors she used three colors but I want to use four because I can't pick between these four so we have neon blue we have neon green we have neon yellow and neon pink <laughs> They're beautiful. Oh, these gloves maybe are not the right fit for this. They're a little slippery and a little big. So I changed my gloves. I got my super awesome black gloves and we're gonna open these up. Ah, no! First accident of the day. I don't even have any napkins around. If I have a stain tomorrow, now you know why. I have two whites because I've seen some people use white like as a base on their canvas. They just pour white so it like moves easily and all like liquidy. So we're gonna try to make this even. I don't have these as measuring cups, but I'm gonna try to like fill three quarters full. So it's gonna be like up to here. This is gonna be our silicon section right here. This is gonna be our dish soap section right here. And this is going to be our alcohol section. And we're ready to start mixing. So I have this, it's called silicon pouring oil. And if you guys wanna find all the stuff that I use, I'm gonna put the Amazon links in my description below. So we're gonna be putting two drops into each color. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now we're going to be doing the dish soap. For the dish soap mixture, you need a little bit of water. We're gonna put a little bit of dish soap in there. And then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna stir it to make it all bubbly. Mm, smells like palm olive. So we're gonna pour very carefully, very little. So watch how much I pour. I'm just gonna eyeball this. Teaspoon, maybe less than a teaspoon. But now don't quote me on any of this because I'm just you know, eyeballing all of this. Okay, so we got those. Now we're gonna do the alcohol. And for that, I have this little thing. What is this called? A squeezy? Squeezy. <laughs> it's a dropper. We're gonna need to put four or five drops in. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I wonder what the cells are gonna be like. I have no idea. Mainly because I've never done cells before. Hopefully I have enough paint though. If not, we're gonna add some blue. We have all of these mixed. What we're gonna need is three cups because we're gonna put all of these together. Let's start with a little bit of white, but I'm gonna do this here so the canvas doesn't get dirty. White is first. I learned this from Olga because it's gonna end on top since we're putting it in the bottom. When we like do a pour, white is gonna be on top and it's gonna add like a beautiful design. Or so the theory goes. My apologies. 
things. I thought we were going to put it layer by layer, but we're just gonna do white, and then we're gonna do color, and then we're gonna do another color, and then we're gonna do another color. Get all of that white goodness in there. I don't wanna waste a single drop. Now we're going to go with green. I wanna make sure we get everything. Okay, so that's the green. Now we're gonna do pink. Ah, the pink is beautiful. I'm so glad I chose these colors. And finally, neon, yellow. That highlighter of all highlighters. So that's one cup ready. Now we're gonna do the dish soap. <music> Lastly, we're doing the isopropyl alcohol. What we're going to do is we're gonna grab this canvas, we're gonna go like this, and then we're gonna go like this. Okay, that's one, two, three. Oh, that was stressful. We're gonna do one by one. You guys see the different pores? The alcohol one is like already going down like tie-dye all around. This one is like sticking because it's dish soap, I guess. This one's already spilling around. Okay, let's do the silicone first. One, two, three. That was satisfying, baby. We're gonna start stretching this. All right, so we finished the silicone one. Look at it. It's still like turning into a weird little tie-dye thing. This is the dish soap one, and look at the cute little mixtures already inside. But all the colors got mixed up. This is the alcohol one, and I love how this has like actual like rainbows inside. All right, so let's start stretching this one. Nice, this one stretches way easily, but we don't see a lot of cells. I think it's kind of similar to Olga's where she didn't see a lot of cells. They were like very subtle cells. So very big difference as you can already see. But I hear that the more time you let them sit, the cells form more on their own. We're going to do the alcohol one. I'm so excited, last one. Let's see how this one pours. Oh no, my fingers ruined it. Accidents. Hold on, I think I have a solution for that. I'm gonna take off this glove thing. Ew, my hands are so sweaty in it. Gross. I have my heat gun, so let's see if this works. Oh wait, this was the one with alcohol. Maybe it's best not to use a heat gun on it. Apparently this gets rid of bubbles. I don't know if there are any bubbles. Oh my God, look, look, the cells are forming because of the heat. That's so cool. Five minutes later. Why is it smoking? I'm scared. Isn't it professionally not supposed to do that? Like that's my biggest fear. Okay, let's add some white to the here and then we're gonna add it here as well. Let's hope that it works. Fix my mistake, you little white egg. Come on, don't be shy. Do it with mommy. Yes, I did just call myself mommy of this art. So as you can see what happened here, this one got a lot of beautiful cells. Like, look at these tiny ones. It looks like a chameleon or something. Here, here, all the way over here. And it has like a beautiful texture, like a nice tie-dye swirl or like a toxic pool. This one kind of looks like a stone or like the inside of a rock. It's very beautiful. And I like how here it turned pastel -y. Do you see it's like white and pink? It turns into a nice yellowy orange here. And it kind of looks like see-through glass over here. Like right here, do you see? Looks see through -y and as if there's like something under it. This one is the most green one. And remember, we wanted to save that green and it ended up being all the way in the middle here. We got some pastels here. I added some extra white, so that's why we got whites in this corner. But I don't know how we can fix that. Maybe I should play around, rotate it a bit. Yay, it's saving it. Very slowly though. It's moving, right? We've got the confirmation from the cameraman. 
<laughs> One last time, we're gonna go over the silicone, dish soap, and isopropyl alcohol, 99 percentile. Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more content like this, let me know again in the comments below. Give this a big thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!